The film begins with Osley, the writer of the website Tactique d'Amour and a famous fashion designer and all those who deal with her, testify that she is an excellent girl. In the following scene, we see in front of us the genius of advertising called Karam, while he convinced some customers of a new advertising campaign on cosmetics and that the idea impressed the customers and they agreed with Karam on a new campaign. We go back to Asli, who went to sit with her friends after finishing work, where Andy was in a state of depression because his lover abandoned him and ignored him. Asli tries to convince Andy to stop thinking about his lover because he is a pathetic and boring person and wants someone else to intervene in his life to make him pay for what he did with his friend Andy. At night, Asli tries to write an article on the website of Love Tactics for Girls where she tries to encourage them to control themselves and not wait for the handsome prince. A girl asks Asli about the effectiveness of the advice she gives them to attract men and make them fall in love. Asli replies by saying that she is trying to share a practical experience with them in the next article in order to prove to them that she can trap anyone in her love networks. The next day, Karam discovers that his manager at work has charged his friend Tona with an advertising campaign that Karam was tired of preparing. Then the manager asked him to focus on the cosmetic campaign that he was going to lose because of his ego. Karam goes to Tona's office and finds their friend Amir with him, who tells Karam that Tona's little friend abandoned her and that he is very sad because he broke up with her. Then the two started making fun of Amir. Karam was arrogant because he felt that he understood everything about girls and trusted him and told them that the easiest thing in his life was to make any girl fall in love with him. Amir challenges Karam and asks him to prove the veracity of his words and concludes a bet with him for a girl to fall in love with him and if Karam wins the bet. Amir must abandon the advertising campaign in favor of Kara. We turn to Osli, who talks to her friends about her next article. Because she will publish the news of a man falling in love with her on the site and it will not hurt Osli because no one knows who the author of the site is except her friends. Osli begins to talk to her friends about the guy she wants to fall in love with and during this time. Kara also talks to her friends about the character that girls prefer in a guy and the way he uses it to attract girls by his beauty and his appearance. At night, Karam goes with his friends to a party to respect the agreement between them and asks them to choose the girl they want Karam to fall in love with and the friends choose Asli and at the same time, Asli's little friend, who is called Gansu, chooses Karam in. The game. Asli is going to have a drink and one of the customers tries to know her, but Asli tries to reject him. Then Karam intervenes between them and pretends to know Asli so that the customer turns away from her. Kara tries to get to know Asli, then takes her to introduce her to her friends and offers to bring her friends to sit with them, but Asli apologizes to him and then comes back to her friends who think she has come back on her words. Asli tells her friends that Karam is going to try to catch up with her, and indeed, Karam goes to see Asli and offers her the drink she deliberately forgot, then returns to her friends, and after a while, Tona goes to meet Gansu, and once the party is over, Asli leaves with her friends and Kara assures her friends that he will find her. The next day, Asli accesses Kara's Instagram account and discovers that he follows a lot of girls. And Karam discovers through Asli's account that she is an introvert and a famous fashion designer. After that, the secretary comes to see Asli and tells her that her manager, Mr. Hawken, asks her to go to the salon to meet the company's new partner and discuss with him about the brand's promotion and he insisted on her presence because it is mentioned in the contract. Asli agrees to go to the exhibition, but she thought she would meet Karam and in the meantime, Amir tried to convince Karam to go together to the same exhibition to discuss the sale of the brand. At night, Karam and Amir go to the exhibition where Asli was also present, but he does not pay attention to his presence because he was talking to Mr. Lewis. The manager at Cannes asks Asli to go meet Mr. Lewis and when she approaches him, Asli collides with Karam and the drink falls out of his hand and because of the embarrassment, Asli leaves the place. Karam also leaves the exhibition because he saw a girl he knows. Then he gets in the same taxi with Asli and tells her that there are only two solutions for her. Go together. Or for Asli to go get another taxi. And Asli agrees to go with him. After that, the two arrive in a restaurant and Asli discovers that Karam is known in the restaurant and therefore she jokes with him by saying that Karam is sure to invite many girls with him to the restaurant. After sitting down at the dinner table, Asli merges with the music team and Karam notices her, then tries to call one of the players without Asli noticing, and when he arrives, Asli screams because she discovers that the player knows Karam who denied him and was embarrassed in front of her. 
Asli is surprised by some girls who believe in Karam and fall in love with him. It seems that Karam is very angry and after the party, Karam takes Asli to her house. And after getting out of the taxi, Asli deliberately forgets her scarf in the car. And Karam discovers the thing because Asli wanted to see him again. After that, Karam tells his friends that he met Asli by chance. Who at the time was writing an article about his meeting with the person she was trying to exploit in the challenge. And rewrote the trick he uses in the restaurant to seduce any girl. And Karam, in turn, continues to talk to his friends about Asli's vanity and tells them that she likes him but hides it. The next day, Asli assures her friends that Kara will come to see her to give her the scarf she forgot in the taxi and suddenly, a representative knocks on the door and puts back a box containing Asli's scarf. Asli and Karam watch the phone all day long waiting for a call from each other in vain and suddenly the secretary calls Asli and asks her to go to another country to meet their partner and Karam also receives a call from his manager and asks him to go to the same place. In the plane, Karam is surprised to have Asli next to him and discovers that she is going on a business trip. And a few moments later, Asli picks up the phone and writes in the article that Karam is sitting next to her in the plane and she thought he had caught up with her and Karam questions him about the secret of the coincidences that occur between them, then laughs when he discovers that she thinks he caught up with her. The two arrive and are welcomed by a driver with a single sign with their names written on it together. Then the driver takes them to the person assumed to be Asli and comes to meet her, who is called Thuvan, who receives them together but ignores Karam and accompanies Asli, who arrives in her room. Asli and Karam discover that they have arrived to meet the same person. Asli realizes that Kara is jealous of Thuvan, so she decides to use him to increase Karam's interest in her. Karam and Asli go to meet Thuvan, who was interested in her, then introduces her to his daughter Milton. Karam is surprised when he sees her because he knows that she is the manager of the brand that Thuvan bought and after a while, everyone sits down for dinner together. Thuvan was nice with Asli. He ignored Karam and it seems that Milton is the bait for Karam and has begun to be attracted to him. Asli thought that Milton's attraction to Kar was just a trick on her part to make her jealous, then she writes on the site that she defies Karam. In the game to feel jealous first until the end of the night. Karam was concentrating with Asli when he saw Thuvan trying to get close to her. Then he went to sit with them and asked the waiter to bring alcoholic drinks, and challenged Thuvan to drink until Milton and Thuvan got tired of drinking a lot. Karam asks Asli to choose between staying with Thuvan and Milton and bringing them home or going with him and leaving the place. Karam meets his close friend named Sammy. Then his mother named Stevens went out and asked Karam and Asli to sit down with them. Stevens tells Asli that Karam was born and grew up with them until he entered university. Then she brought a photo of Karam with his father two years before his death. But Karam leaves the place after hearing his father's biography and Asli is surprised by his reaction. Stevens tells Osley that the subject is sensitive to him and Karam's mother always wanted to leave him when he was ten years old. Osley enters Karam's room where the pottery is kept. Then look at the objects that Karam was making, who offers her to try to make pottery herself. Osley is attracted to Karam during the experiment. After leaving the room, Karam asks Osley to close her eyes and then climbs with her in a balloon with her eyes closed. Then Osley discovers that she is flying in the sky and screams because of an excess of fear because she is afraid of high places. But Karam can calm her down and asks her to close her eyes again so that she is not afraid. After being reassured, Asli opens her eyes without being afraid and begins to appreciate the view and after being down, Asli thanks Karam for the surprise because she appreciated it despite her feeling of fear and then the trip between them ends. Back home, Karam talks to his friends about the trip and how to get rid of Milton miraculously. Tona laughed because of the reading of something on the phone. Then he tells them about the tactical blog of love and the last article that talks about a girl trying to take advantage of someone and he does not know that it is Asli who posted it and the person she is talking about on the blog is Karam. Tuna advises Karam to follow the blog to find out what happened with the person in order not to be exposed to man's error. And in the meantime, Asli was writing in the article about the first time she discovered that the person she had met was Elman without mistake and suddenly, a girl asks to Asi if she had fallen in love with this person by trying to deceive him but Asi stops the device and does not answer the question. At night, Asi receives a message from Karam that he invited in the message to dinner but Asi does not answer and ignores him, and an hour later, Asi responds to the message and agrees to go to dinner at his house. Asi goes to the appointment planned and writes everything that happens between her and Karam in the article, while she was waiting for him to confess to falling in love with her.
but Karam sits down and suggests watching a movie, and Asi discovers that it is his favorite movie. After the end of the film, Asi asks Kara if he does the same with all the girls he knows and asks him to tell her everything about himself. Kara tells Asi that the piano that is in his house belonged to his mother and that no one has been able to touch it since she left and that he is unable to get rid of it because he still remembers his mother because of him. He feels that by touching the piano, it means that he indirectly forgives his mother. Then he sleeps and when he wakes up, he finds Asi playing the piano and then tries to play with her. The next day, Asli talks to her friends about what happened between her and Karam. Sanju tells Asli that half of the girls in Turkey follow his article and want to know what happened last night and suddenly, Asli tells her friends that she doesn't want to finish the game anymore. Andy asks to see Karam's photo and after seeing the photo, Andy is shocked and tells Asli that Karam is the same person she knew and abandoned her and ignored her. Then Asli tells her that she was stupid because she trusted Karam, then apologizes to Andy and promises to take revenge on Karam. At night, Asli goes to meet Karam, then tries to film a live show to subscribe without paying attention to Kara, who began to tell him that he had not fallen in love with all his life because he did not believe in him, but after seeing Asli, he fell in love with her. The live broadcast goes viral and after Kara had confessed her love, Asli reveals the game to her and tells her that she was exploiting it, and that all her feelings for him were only a lie and that everything that happened between them was published in the blog. Then she started filming Karam to take revenge on him for all the girls who felt hurt because of the guys and then left the place. After that, Karam falls into a state of depression and one day, the manager calls Asli to his office and tells her that she has been fired from the company and during this time, Karam is surprised by the arrival of Milton, who offers to accompany her to London to work with her and promises to take revenge on Asli for her actions because it was she who ordered the manager to fire her. After a while, Manager Hakan returns to Asli and asks her to go back to work, but she refuses and when she meets her friends, she finds Amir and Tona with them, who tells her that Kara has discovered that Milton was the one who had planned to fire her from work and for this reason, Kara has accepted to work with Milton on the condition that Asli is reintegrated into her work. Amir tells Asli that Kara is in the plane that will leave in two hours. Asli rushes to the airport but notices that the road is crowded and then asks someone who was next to her to accompany her to the airport on his motorcycle. After his arrival, Asli runs quickly to catch up with Kara and discovers that her friend has reserved a ticket for her in the same plane as Kara, who was known to the airport staff because of the live broadcast. Live In the plane, Karam sees in the blog that Asli tells all the subscribers that she will delete the blog and admits to falling in love with Karam and regretting everything that happened between them. Karam decides to get off the plane despite the refusal of the air hostess, then he catches up with Asli and confesses his love to her and at the end of the film, the security guards arrest Karam and Asli and they are happy to get back together.